Hello everyone, welcome. Alejandra here with another quick tip for data analysis. And today I'm gonna show you how we are gonna go from this table to this pivot table, where I'm gonna be able to see the total sales per item and per quarter. So without further ado, let's start. Let's go back to my table here. So we are gonna right click anywhere inside of that table and select get data from table range, or we can go to our data tab and click at from table range. I'm using Microsoft 365. Power Query Editor opens, and this is the name of the table, demo running. That's the name of my query. Power Query assigns the name of the table to my query. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna hide the query section, Control Shift Plus to zoom in. And here Power Query created two steps for me. I'm gonna delete the change type. I'm not ready for that. I'm gonna just keep the source, and the source is just bringing that table that I show you from the existing workbook. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna select column item, press and hold control, select column zone, right click and select on pivot other column. Here we have all the months in one column and all the values in another column. I'm gonna change the name of the column attribute. I'm gonna change it here on the code. And this is gonna be month. And the value, I'm gonna say that that is gonna be the amount, enter. The first thing that I need to do is to convert this information into a date so I can obtain the quarter for every single month. And I cannot change that just by changing the data type. If I click here to ABC and I try to change this to date, it's not gonna happen. So it's gonna give me an error because this is not a date value yet. So I'm gonna delete that last step and I'm gonna rename my step on pivoted uh, other columns. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna add a column to this table. I can go to add column and click at custom column, or I can just create a new step here. And after the equal, I'm gonna say table add column, open parentheses. I want to add the column to the table that is coming from my previous step, comma. The name of that column will be quarter, comma. What is the operation that I want to process inside of that column? That's gonna be, uh, first I need to tell Power Query through a function, and each is a key word for a function. And now I'm gonna tell Power Query that I want to extract the date from text, open parenthesis, the text is coming from my column month, comma. I need to provide the options as any, and I'm gonna provide the square brackets because I want the format to be recognized as MMM. We have three characters for the month name. And I can also say that the culture will be um, equal English, and I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna provide CA, try to expand this. And from here, I'm gonna click at the check mark and let's see what we have in our last column. So I'm gonna collapse this, uh, the formula bar. Now I have in my column quarter, I have the date. Now with this information, I'm gonna expand my uh, formula bar again. And after the each, I'm gonna press uh, shift enter. And from here, I'm gonna press control, uh, close in a square bracket, maybe one more time. And because now I want to add the function quarter of year, this one, and open parentheses, and it's gonna add me for day time as any. I already have that information in my column quarter. I'm gonna go to the end, close parentheses, go to the end and press enter or click at the check mark. I'm gonna collapse the formula bar and let's see what we have. Excellent, we have our quarter. I have all the information that I need. Select one column, control A to select the whole table. Go to transform, detect data type. Now I'm ready to pass this to Excel. Let's go to the home tab, uh, close and load, close and load to. And I'm gonna say that I want a people table and a new worksheet, press okay. If you remember, we had over 71,000 rows to start with, with 14 columns. And here we have our pivot table. I'm gonna just insert a column here and a, a row here. I just like to have more space like around the pivot table. 
So I can have the zone in the filters. I can have the quarter on the columns. I can have the amount on the values and I can have the item on the rows. I'm just selecting and grabbing that information. So now uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So inside of the pivot table, right click, number format, number, thousand separators, zero decimals, say OK. So I have, it's a little bit better for me to, to see when I have the commas and no decimals. So I'm going to go to design, report layout, show in tabular form so I can see quarter here, item here. I'm going to select these four columns from quarter one to four. Control one to open the format cells uh, box. Go to alignment. Here, horizontal center across selection. Say OK. So it's center across the selection and I don't have to merge. So I'm able to individually select these cells. So I strongly recommend that you do that when you want to center information uh, across several cells. Now we have our pivot table uh, in no time. So we can see that we have issues in our data. We have a skirt, we have skirts, and we have total skirt. So uh, stay tuned for the next tip for data analysis because I'm gonna be showing an example where we're gonna work with these items. For now, we have what we needed. We needed a pivot table with the total sales per item, per quarter. And here I have the zones where I can analyze my data per zone A, zone B, or I can select all the zones, or I can select just specific zones, let's say B and C. And there we go. So this is the information that I have only for those two zones or I can select all of them, and then I have my total for all those zones. So I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on LinkedIn, and share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.